Many people ask this question why is there no female prophets in Islam? Allah chose all the messengers whom he sent from among men. He did not send any female prophets or messengers. Allah Almighty said in the Quran, And we sent not before you, except men to whom we revealed. From this verse we can understand that all the prophets and messengers were men. And the reason behind that could be the nature of the task. The role of messenger requires a great many tasks to be performed. For example, addressing men and women, meeting people in secret and openly, moving throughout the land. Confronting liars and establishing proof against them and debating with them, preparing and leading armies, and going through the sufferings of war. All of that is suitable for men but not for women. The role of the messenger demands that the messenger should be in charge of those who follow him. So he issues commands and prohibitions to his followers, and he rules and judges among them. If a woman were entrusted with such tasks, she would not be able to do them properly. And there would be people who would refuse to follow and obey her. Women have to cope with things that prevent them from doing many tasks, such as menstruation, pregnancy, childbirth, and nephas, which is accompanied by psychological stresses and pains, in addition to the care that is required for the child. All of that prevents her from being able to fulfill the role of messenger and carrying out its duties. So it is more suitable for men to fit in the role of a prophet and messenger. And if we look at the life stories of the prophets, we'll see they went through a lot of hardships. For example Prophet Abraham peace be upon him was stripped of his clothes and then he was thrown into the fire. Then Prophet Eunice was thrown into the sea and he was in the belly of the fish. Similarly many other prophets were tortured, killed and humiliated by their enemies. Even if we see the life story of our beloved Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he had to face a lot of problems when he received prophethood. So it is very clear that the role of prophet is not suitable for women. And Allah Almighty knows best. Another thing I want to address in this video if Maryam mother of Jesus, Asiya, Eve, and mother of Moses were prophets or not. It's pretty clear to us that they were not prophets. But there were some scholars who believed that there are female prophets. They believe that Mary mother of Jesus, Asiya, and Eve to be prophets. Their evidence is the verses that says Allah Almighty sent revelation to the mother of Musa. And the verses that says about the angel speaking to Mary mother of Jesus. And other verses which says Allah chose Maryam. So some scholars believe that they were prophets. And the verse where Allah Almighty said, And we sent not before you, except men to whom we revealed. These scholars said this verse speaks about messengers not prophets. But most of the other scholars refuted their view in many different ways. For example, we do not accept their view that the prophet is not commanded to convey the message, to teach and to mix with people. Our view is that there is no difference between a prophet and the messenger in this regard, and the difference is that a prophet is sent with the laws of the messenger who came before him. If this is the case, then the reasons why a woman messenger cannot be sent apply also to the sending of a woman prophet. And the revelation sent by Allah to these women, the mother of Moses and Asiya, happened in the form of dreams. We know that dreams may form a part of revelation, and that this may happen to people other than the prophets. So this does not prove that they were prophets. And we do not accept their view that everyone who is addressed by the angels is a prophet. Because we know from multiple hadiths that Angel Jibreel came among the companions of the Prophet to ask question, so that the companions can know more about the religion. So Angel coming to a certain people doesn't prove they are prophets. And the verses which say that Allah chose Maryam, we cannot take those verses as evidence because Allah Almighty chose many people other than prophets. For example Allah said he chose family of Ibrahim and family of Imran in the Quran. So this verses can't be used to prove that they are prophets. So these women were truthful, righteous, and they'll be the best women of paradise. But they were not prophets. The correct view is there were no female prophets. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share and subscribe for more videos.